The death toll is rising this morning after a series of terror attacks in Belgium. At least 36 people are dead and more than 100 are injured after three explosions rocked the airport and a nearby train station. This just days after authorities arrested the prime suspect in the Paris terror attacks in a Brussels neighborhood. Tina Kraus has more. Survivors ran for safety as smoke and chaos filled the airport terminal in Brussels. <laughs> Dozens are injured after two powerful explosions. One blast caved in a ceiling on stunned travelers and blew out the terminal's windows. CBS News has learned police found an unexploded device, possibly a suicide vest, and a Kalashnikov Russian assault rifle. This woman was with her daughter, who's now missing. Well, my husband called the American Embassy, and he, they're looking for her, too. Three missionaries from Utah were seriously injured in the airport blasts. Less than a half hour later, an explosion ripped through a subway station during the morning rush hour near the U.S. Embassy in Brussels. More than a dozen people were killed and more than a hundred injured. Some passengers had to find their way out through dark tunnels. Mesdames et messieurs, Belgium's prime minister says what we feared has happened. President Obama called him from Cuba this morning. The thoughts and the prayers of the American people are with the people of Belgium, and we stand in solidarity with them. The attacks come just days after the arrest of Salah Abdeslam, the prime suspect in the Paris terror attacks last November. They were probably concerned that he was going to talk to authorities, and they moved this up. Police have now shut down Brussels' entire transport system, diverting all planes and trains away from the Belgian capital, and authorities are urging people to stay home. Tina Kraus, CBS News, London. No threats have been made against the U.S. at this time, but airports and transportation hubs across the country are increasing security. Here at Nashville International Airport today, there is a larger police presence as a precaution. With a higher than normal passenger volume this week, including spring break travelers, security lines are already longer, so officials are asking that you arrive at the airport at least two hours before your flight. A man is facing charges after a dangerous chase early this morning. Smyrna police tell us they tried to pull over 32-year-old Stephen Shaw for suspected DUI and speeding. That's when authorities say he took off, driving straight into oncoming traffic and running vehicles off the road. He was eventually stopped after a collision with law enforcement. Shaw is now in the Rutherford County Jail on a long list of charges. And finally, are you looking to jumpstart your career? News Channel 5 is partnering with the Nashville Convention and Visitors Corps for a big event. The Hospitality Industry Job Fair is tomorrow. It's a great way to connect with some of our area's most vibrant hotels, restaurants, and attractions looking to hire new employees. It's from 11 a.m. until 7 p.m. in the Davidson Ballroom at the Music City Center. For more details, just go to newschannel5.com and click on news links.